Awesome. Coach, how do you like it here at Oregon so far? I love it. It's been it's been a tremendous experience so far in the six seven weeks that I've been here. Uh, people have been uh, very hospitable, very generous, very kind, uh, very open uh, to having me here. So uh, it's all about the people. It's a beautiful place, beautiful facility, obviously. But at the end of the day, uh, that wears off. It's the people that uh, that consistently. Uh, are being kind and generous to you that makes this place special. When you have a head coach that's also the position coach, offensive mm -hmm. line, mm -hmm. how do you divide up the duties as another offensive line coach? However he wants it. Yeah. <laughs> However he wants it. He's the boss and, you know, he's uh, he's the head football coach. And, you know, it, it's just something that it's a it's a feel thing. It's not like everybody keeps asking me that. And, you know, uh, he if I see him on the right side of the offensive line, I'll just slide over to the left. If I see him on the left, I'll slide over the right. So it's really my job to play off of Coach Cristobal. Uh, you know, and it's something that uh, I've known him for a very, very long time. So it's 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 really fairly easy. I've known him for 34 years. So um, it's very easy. I got his his mindset, his culture, his his upbringing is my mindset, my culture, my upbringing. So it, it's really not a difficult deal. Uh, and it's not only me, me and him. It's my myself, him, uh, Coach Woodle. We all play off each other. It's not like we don't worry about stepping on each other's toes. Obviously, he's a head football coach, so we kind of fit in off of him. Yeah. yeah. That mindset goes all the way to what time you get in. I, I understand that you guys are usually the first two in the building. Is yeah. that a little friendly? Our, our, no, it's not. For, I think it's our Eastern time zone. Our Eastern time zone uh, sticks with us, and uh, but we are uh, both early, early risers. I really believe you know once once a workday starts, really any kind of real. Uh, individual stuff that you want to do kind of comes to a halt. So if there's really, whether it's recruiting, whether it's working on cut-ups, whether it's working, hey, I want to go back and look at yesterday's practice to create uh, something for today, you really got to get that done before other people get into the building because then you're really on other people's schedule. You know, it's offensive staff or special teams. It's not you being able to do just individual things that you want to do. And I could only imagine for him as a head football coach, I mean, for him as a head football coach, when 7 o'clock in the morning comes, I mean, then his, he's being pulled all different ways. So you just get more, in my opinion, you just get more done when others aren't around the building. As far as coming to a new program yes, and taking over a position group, this yeah. is a pretty experienced offensive line. Yeah. What have you been able to kind of diagnose with them and, and the team? That's well, I don't see it as me taking over a position group. Obviously, the position group, uh, Coach Cristobal is still here. So, and obviously, he did a tremendous job in reshaping the culture the way he wanted it. So I, honestly, it's it's me coming in, not trying to mess anything up, trying to fit in to them. Uh, it's a tremendous group. I mean, you're talking about H Hanson, Throckmorton, Lemieux, Aiello. You're talking about guys that have that have that have played uh, tons of snap here for, for for the Ducks. So you you take their input. You know, you take their input. Uh, you try to bring in a, maybe a, a technique, a footwork, a whisper in their ear, something that you feel might help them elevate their game in a certain mindset. But by no means am I taking anything over. That's uh, I'm fitting in. I'm fitting in. I'm fitting in with Coach Wood. I'm fitting in with Coach Cristobal. I'm fitting in with them. Um, and that's been my mindset. You know, this is it's this is not a broken it was this is not a broken culture. This is not a broken offensive line. There's an offensive line that's that's on the proper path set forth by Coach Cristobal last year. So it's my job to fit into his philosophy, his mindset, his culture. And you know, we, and we do that on a daily basis. Did you meet Mario in high school or even before that? Mario, uh, Coach Cristobal and I uh, met May of freshman year of high school. Uh, so we have known each other for 34 years. I, it's 34 years in 1984. Um, so I think it's 34 if I can count. But it's 34 years that he and I have known each other. Um, and you know, it's just birds of a feather kind of flock together in terms of mindset, culture. Uh, same background, families, all that stuff, where his family came from Cuba, my family came from Cuba, so kind of the same type of people. Uh, but that's, so it's been that, that period of time. I was blessed and lucky in 2007 to be hired by him at, at uh, the previous place that we both worked at, worked at it, were there six years with him. He went to Alabama. I was blessed to go to uh, Marshall University, and then when he took over here as the head football coach, um, I was lucky to be brought in here at the uh, six weeks ago or seven weeks ago as, as uh, offensive line assistant, and um, I'm blessed and honored to be here. What Coach, based on what you've seen, what do you think is going to be the strength of the unit this year? Of the offensive line? Yeah. Um, shush, the experience, uh, the desire, their leaders. Um, they're just guys that, that want to want to be the best, you know, that it's, it's, it's intrinsic in them, and so that, that you're blessed by that, you know, and just – 
hopefully, you know, they, we've got these five kids coming in, uh, that signees, that these guys leave a legacy for them. And what's a legacy? To me, a legacy is not bowl championships. That's not legacy. To me, a legacy is what do you leave to those behind so that that culture can continue in the offense line uh, going forward. So it's a, uh, a trim so I, I just see leadership. I see intelligence. I see a tremendous desire uh, to be the best at their position. What does it mean for you to reunite with Mario in this type of situation? It means a lot. It means a lot. It means a lot to me because of uh, our, my relationship with him goes beyond uh, football. And my sole purpose is to see him be successful. Uh, I will do anything in my power to try to help our head football coach uh, be known as a champion. Did you guys talk about being coaches when you were young, or is that just something that happened? You know what? It's just something that happened. You know, I was going to be an engineer that lasted about a semester. Um, then I became a, a social studies high school teacher for 16 years. I was blessed to do that. I know he wanted to be a Secret Service agent. That lasted until uh, he, he got into uh, the coaching ranks, and you know he went through the coaching ranks as a graduate assistant. I was a high school coach for 16 years. Uh, and then kind of after that happened, then, you know, when he had opportunity to be a head coach uh, 12 years ago, um, he asked me about my opinion on that position that he was going to take. And I said, man, I think you should take it. Then about a day later, he calls back, well, will you join me? My wife says, well, we don't have to move. Let's go. And so it's kind of kind of from there. It just kind of happened. You know, it's kind of happened. I, I think you just work the job you have and everything else to take care of itself in life. You know what, I, I, my, my high school, co a, a coach to me is a teacher. Uh, that's what a coach is. Your classroom just happens to be the grass. Uh, every day that I went to teach American history and U.S. government was an opportunity for me on how to connect with different types of kids uh, and how to relate to them and, and, and their concerns and all that stuff. So it actually helped me. It actually helped me. Our, our Coach Cristobal and I have, have a tremendous mentor in Coach Dennis Lavelle, uh, who was both our head high school football coach. And he was a, he was a better math teacher than he was a coach, and he was a pretty good pretty damn good coach so uh it's something that that's just what you did that's what you did I, I i i taught five out of six periods and then i taught three more periods at the end of the day which was football you know so it's it's what it is to me it's the same thing it's just a different period but it happens to be outside we just taught right now in the meeting you know and now that was a classroom in there and now where the classroom is on the grass and we just go from there what are you looking for in the spring game what are some of your focuses with this group you know we'll just continue to execute and get better uh fundamentals techniques uh, yeah, keep Herbert from from being touched. You know uh, that, that's 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 our one of our jobs, and just continue to establish the, the mentality of toughness and physicalness and technique, and uh, just do our part to try to help uh, the Ducks become champions. Kind of an interesting contrast when you're out there with the O line, the big guys. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know more. I mean, I've, everybody always asks me about my height. Heck, I've been this height forever so you just do it you know uh, it's kind of do I wouldn't recruit myself to play O-line but uh, to me uh, your job is to teach you know your job is to teach and to coach it's not to go out there and, and play and uh, I think once you teach these guys hey these are the techniques that you use and they work then then they understand they believe in you you know um, so it, it's just it is what it is I don't think about it it's just who I am it's what I do and uh, I think once they, I think initially they'll do, hey, look, this is short guy. He's coaching the offensive line. But once I, you open your mouth and you teach them something that works, they're like, okay, as long as it works and makes them better, that's all that matters in life, you know. And my wife had two ch children. We had two, we had two sons, and the doctor that delivered them was a man, and he never had a child. So to me, you don't have to go through certain, exp you know, you don't have to be six foot six to be able to teach a six foot six person how to do something. I really truly believe that. It's just my philosophy, you know. Uh, but it is what it is. It's it's who I am. So.